I want to do is get this bit back up and singing again and start making money. Oh, Wallace, give way! <laughs> <laughs> this is a jam, no, baby, no. <laughs> <laughs> We know how this is going to end, Ryan. I could add my bottle to that. <laughs> We know that we are the last. People don't realise that we still burn coal in this country. The negotiations are always tricky. Some of those conversations have been very, very difficult. Companies never want to pay the workforce what they want to pay them. Some have been aggressive. Everything's a lot more open, even if the management don't want it to be. We had to do some things that were not palatable. When you're dead, that's when you sleep. You've got to live, that's what you got to do. Come on, who's going to trust me? All the lads down there are good lads. I've worked with them for a lot of years, and I trust them all. You can say things down here, but you can't say anywhere else anywhere. And nobody takes offence to it. We got voted, didn't we? Yeah. They're here on top, the best looking local team in the company. James is rugby. They always put rugby on the. I do his rate soccer. You've got rate soccer, you know, man. He likes to talk like that. Let's, look, let's get a win, let's rock and roll. Yes, boss. Checking it, boss. Or we... Check it a bit faster, Russ. Come on. Uh, I do like to have the banter with the men but I'd also like to think that uh, they've got enough, enough respect for me and my position. This is our world and, and the way that we talk and things like that. You, you want to... Come around here. Yeah, down you want to pass acceptable down here. You won't take home with it. You know, it's, it's a different world, isn't it? How should you get it? Well, yeah. I got put me a, put me a growler, put me a growler, put me a that's the cheap and yeah, quality. Yeah, that's, that's cheap. Yeah, that's the cheap. I'm telling you. That's the cheap. I'm telling you. To work here, it's very hazardous. You've got to be switched on. You've got to have your friends about you. We've got one man unaccounted for. We know the conditions are like through the doors. We know it's quite warm. Make sure you swap the equipment around and let's go and see if we found this man. It's the hardest task that I've ever had to do, to go and tell somebody that a loved one's not coming home. We think of all those who have given their all in bringing the precious coal to the surface. Precious coal. But no one near as precious as the lives that we remember today. I've been mining all my life, it's in my blood really, in my family's blood. My two granddads and my uncle worked at Pitt, so I know what to expect. It doesn't really affect me though, my dad yeah. working here, no yeah, matter much difference. Yeah. Just see pot in the bar now, yeah, yeah. that's it really. It's what they call a dads and lads thing, he's, he's taken to it, works hard. Harry wants to work down the pit, Sam wants to work at the power station. I want to start at Pitt first. Go to a power station. Not a nuclear one, though. No, no, no. It's a naughty, aren't we? Yeah. You've seen what it's like when we work underground. You've seen how we dress when we are underground. When I go to the competitions, I can, I can dress up. Touch with his feminine side. He likes his uh, sequins and his diamond ties. <laughs> it allows me to dress up like a like a, a proper clean person for a change. Unfortunately, it's the only time he does dress up because he doesn't dress like that for me. <laughs> the lads at the pit, they know. You know, it's just Kenny. Kenny's in a band. <laughs> I get up in the morning, I'm back to Kenny the miner again and uh, back down the mine. 
just a normal lad again, you know, and there's no rock and roll there. It's definitely my passion. The mining. Uh, that, that pays the bills. Don't hear me finish with you, thank you! I don't leave the door open, please. I think I'm one of the lucky ones still to have a job. Always laughing and joking. <laughs> I think you've got to have a good sense of humour to be a, to be a coal miner, as well as a good worker. <laughs> Nigel's got one of the biggest arses. I've got, I've got skinniest ankles. <laughs> the coaling industry is going to survive. Let's keep the lights on in England. That's what I say.